Hi guys, we're in the shop today uh, learning how to use a new tool. I've seen this tool made by other people on YouTube, so I thought I'd go ahead and try to create my own uh, version of this. And uh, seems like it works pretty decent so far. Um, I was able to shape out this piece of metal here, which was just a test piece, but uh, it'll allow you to take any length of uh, sheet metal, uh, very thin sheet metal, like you'd uh, have for flashing and uh, roofing materials and uh, put a break into it at whatever angle that you want. Okay, on the business end of the tool, uh, there's a stack of bearings down here and that supports the back side of the sheet metal and then there's also a pair of bearings here that also support the sheet metal. Um, and then you have a pinch point up here and when you apply pressure to it, this roller will put a crease into your metal. Um, it's a process called tipping and it uh, works pretty well for taking a sheet and putting an angle of bend into it. I made this out of a piece of uh, two by three stainless steel tubing. It doesn't have to be stainless, it could be any piece of metal or I've seen them made with a couple of angle irons, a um, piece of channel. Uh, it's just, this was something I had laying around the shop so that's why I decided to use. Um, I don't see a lot of them with the cutouts. I, I saw one that did have cutouts in it and that made sense because now you can pull the uh, rollers down so that they're very close to the surface. But you can adjust this out um, to make a pretty long depth of uh, bend into a piece of material that you might have. So all you have to do is put a put a measure of uh, tape measure or ruler in between here and here to get your depth set. Um, you could mark those on the rods here if you wanted to. This screw up here locks the rods in place so that they can't move. I'll break it down and show you what the parts look like in case you want to make your own. When I make things, I usually just go to the uh, scrap pile and pull off whatever I can find that's really close to what it is I'm trying to make. Uh, it saves a lot of time in cutting things. Um, this is just a piece of steel tubing. The angle cuts weren't necessary, I just did that. Um, it's just pretty simple. You have the holes where the shafts go through and a place to attach um, a block. And then I made it with the big clearance holes in the front of it with a hole saw so that I could uh, recess the bearings down inside of it and be able to bend real short flanges on the edge of my piece of metal. Um, I just left these bearings on here, but that's pretty simple. They're just, uh, just a pair of bearings stuck on there to support the edge of the metal as you're forming. I have this block of aluminum. Um, actually, it started out as a round stock and uh, I milled off the sides of it to make it into a flat um, so I could work on it easier. But it um, has a place to attach it in the middle, the two holes for the shafts. And then there's a screw here to lock the shaft in place once you set your adjustment. I have the two shafts which are uh, could be made to whatever length you want, but uh, I just happen to have two pieces laying around that uh, were about the right length for what I wanted to do, so I just used those. Um, they're 5 8 inch shafts, but they were just a little bit undersized, so I did a little knurling in the lathe. Uh, it's a process where you raise metal. Um, it's really hard to see, but there's you can just see maybe a slight amount of it in there. Um, so that basically makes the metal just a little bit bigger so that these bearings pressed on, so all I had to do is hammer them in place. Um, they're actually on there pretty firmly. And then this piece here just holds the ends of the rods in place so that they both uh, stay in the same position going in and out of the tool. And uh, I probably went a little overboard fancy with some of the screws. I countersunk them in there, but it doesn't have to be that. It could have just been a piece of flat stock of some kind that you put your screws into to hold things together. So for assembly, the first part is just put a screw down into the middle of it, and then the block attaches to that.
that's how it is when it's put together. It's a pretty simple tool. except it don't work. <laughs> That working pretty good earlier. I don't mess with it. 